And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Friday the 23rd of June. Sure, you're looking forward to the weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in today's session as we approach the midpoint of the Asian part of the day. And let's have a look at what's coming across the news. US markets were generally positive overnight in a choppy session. Some buying back into tech stocks after a week of previous day. Uh, we saw the S&P 500 in positive territory, the Dow closed near neutral. The UK rate decision surprised markets a little bit, quarter of a percent priced in. There was a half a percent rise, but that was obviously in response to the hotter than expected inflation data the day before. That sort of dampened market spirits a little bit, and we're seeing a continuation of that today. US futures are just below neutral in the Asian session. Asian markets have ignored that positive US lead and are down. The ASX just continues to sell off. It's down in excess of 1% at this stage. European futures also point into a negative open, which has got worse through the course of the Asian session. Uh, the VIX hasn't moved very much, which is interesting, still at over three-year lows. US dollar index bounce off short-term support looks a bit like a double bottom now. And as a result of that USD strength, we saw gold breach support and is now trading at mid-March levels. Perhaps 1900 is on the cards for gold. Copper also failed to hold gains, but it has had a relatively okay week. It's managed to hold whilst other commodities have dropped off. It is back at the 200 MA and is a little weak in Asia today. So one wonders whether we might see some further selling in that as well. And also oil is moving towards the bottom of a short term range, both on the WTI and Brent crude contracts. Bitcoin's had a strong week after all of the news of potential ETFs came out. It is just below resistance at 31,000, which is April highs. And on the data front, we've got global PMI throughout the day. We've already had Australian and Japanese numbers out. Australia beat, Japanese didn't. And Japanese CPI was also slightly softer. Later on today, we've got PMI out of UK, Europe, Germany, the US being the major participants in the PMI party. Uh, we've also got UK retail sales to throw in as well. A hot number in that, and we should see some increasing buy-in into the GB pound, one would suggest. A couple of charts of interest. Uh, we're looking at the Canadian dollar yen on the hourly chart. You can see there we had a move up yesterday, uh, which was really very positive until it got to around about this 8, 109 level. And then we saw a self slight double top type of formation there. We're looking at this pivot at 108.43 for a potential move down to test 108 in the short term. Very little to shout about. Staples are one of the only commodities to the upside. So we are actually still keeping an eye on Woolworths, although this has pulled back from an important level. Probably one for next week at this stage, as we have seen it come off its highs of the day. But keep an eye on this level at 40.23. Uh, this would represent highs not seen since 2021. And we could see a move up to around about $42 on this. So worth keeping on your radar not just for today but the early part of next week trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now